Hi there, this is Bill Lee coming at you from Dubspot in New York City. I'm one of the instructors of the Logic courses as well as of mixing and mastering. Today we're going to take a look at Flex Pitch, which is one of the new Flex Time algorithms in Logic 10. We're going to be using it on vocals and some electric bass, but it's really good for many different types of pitched instruments. The music we're using today is a remake of a song called Blue Skies. It's a collaboration between myself and Mona Kahan, who's a vocalist of a Persian country band out of Brooklyn named Vatan. So thanks for tuning in. Sit back and enjoy. I've got some vocals and bass going on in this song. Let's just take a listen really quick. Okay, so these vocals really don't sound that bad. They just might need a little bit of tweaking. I'd like to start out with the lead vocal and let's first turn on Flex View. On the individual tracks, we have the ability as we've seen before when Flex Time was introduced with Logic 9 to select any of these existing time-based algorithms. But the new one lives up here and that is Flex Pitch. So I want to select that and turn on Flex Pitch. Now, there are two ways to view the editing information that we can get from Flex Pitch. The first is right here up in the regions area. And what it's showing us is some view that we might not have seen before. Basically, what it's telling us is that it's analyzed the pitches of all of the different vocals. Let's just listen to a little bit of this. Blue skies smiling at me. Nothing but blue skies do I see. And basically what it's telling us is that anything that it sees as being perfectly in pitch, perfectly on pitch or in tune will appear with this line right across the middle. Anything that's a little bit sharp, the blue line is going to be a bit above. Anything that's a little flat, the blue line is going to be a bit below. And it's basically giving us a, a tuning range total of about a half of a step. A hundred cents from the very bottom all the way to the very top. So we can do a little bit of tuning just by clicking on these little bars. and bring them a little bit more in or out of tune. Everything sounded good to me here, except maybe one note a little bit towards the end. Eyes, do I see? This one right here. And what I'm gonna do is, uh, it actually looks very sharp, but it sounds to me very flat. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to, I'm gonna raise it up and you can see it comes all the way up to the bottom, from the bottom, and it gets a little bit more in tune, I think. Let's check that out. Nothing but blue skies do I see. That's a little bit better. And when you have a very small amount of tuning to do, meaning the vocalist was very, very close to what you needed to get, then this is just fine. But when you need to get a little bit deeper, that's where we can actually double click this or hit the editors button to open this down below in the editors area. Now this starts to look a little bit more familiar. Looks just like the piano roll. Looks like it's giving us actual notes laid out across the keyboard. So let's see this one more time. Blue skies smiling at me what it's showing us is there are these six little hot spots around each region, each 
you know, pitch that it is detected for us. And those give us, uh, first of all, fine pitch, uh, as well as uh, vibrato. We can give it more or less vibrato. Um, pitch drift at the front and the end. So if you're bending into or out of the note, you can get a little bit more control over that. The actual volume of each note, a little bit louder or softer. And we even have something very cool, formant shift. And formant shift is really emphasizing the harmonics at the top upper frequencies or the lower frequencies of, of the sound. All of these sounds have a fundamental pitch, whether it's on C or D or E or F, but there are many different frequencies that make up the, the, high, the high frequencies and the low frequencies of the sound, and you can emphasize each of these with form and shift. We'll come back to that. So let's switch gears for a second and take a look at how we can use this for repitching. I'm going to solo three of my vocals here. Smiling at me, nothing but blue skies do I see. So our vocalist gave us one lead track and then they gave us a doubled harmonies. You know, both of these harmonies are singing the same thing. And that's pretty nice right there. But it'd be nice if maybe we can mess with it a little bit and maybe get three part harmony. I'm gonna turn on flex pitch on one of these tracks and I'm going to go down to the editors again. And let's look at that region, which is right here. Zoom in a little bit and let's see if we can change these notes around so that she's singing something a little bit different. Nothing but blue sky. So let's maybe take these all and uh, I'm gonna take this guy. So it starts. I'm gonna repitch that like that. Like that, and these are also a little bit out. Of Let's see what that sounds like. Nothing but blue skies. So just that easily, we can take a doubled harmony and turn it into three-part harmony if we don't need the double. Um, very nice. Let's see what this can do for us when it comes to bass guitar. Okay, here's our bass line. We'll pop this open down below in the tracks area. We'll turn on flex time and yes we do. And we're going, we have flex pitch selected, great. So here you could do the same thing, a little bit of repitching. So maybe you wanna play. Something like that. Let's see what that sings. So if a bass player played a wrong note or if a bass player played a note where, you know what, I'd like to just, I wish they played something a little bit different for variation at a certain spot, you can just change the notes around very, very easily. Now, speaking of bass and all the notes that we're talking about, I mentioned how similar this looks to MIDI. Well, not only does it look like MIDI, but it can act just like MIDI. Let's say that this bass um, was not enough for me, the electric bass, and I wanted to get a little bit of nice thick synth bass doubling uh, the performance. Very easy to do. I'm just gonna select all these notes. I'll go here to the local edit menu, and at the bottom, close to the bottom, we can see create MIDI track from flex pitch data. This basically is what we what is known as audio to MIDI. So once we select that, Logic is going to give us 
a new MIDI track. It just called up the default electric piano as the sound, uh, but it exported all of those notes that it devised from the uh, audio track and now has put it on a software instrument track. Now, obviously the performance derived from our audio track is not the exact performance, it is not perfect, and you would have to go through and pick out the notes that don't work as well to clean it up a little bit. Just keep in mind, you're going to get the best detection of the notes and pitches from monophonic material that's as dry as possible. No effects, delays, reverbs, or anything like that. Otherwise, you might get a few notes or, or that come up a little bit messed up. One last thing we can do with this that's kind of fun, I'm going to turn this off for a second, um, is I mentioned formant shift. Formant shift can be very powerful. Let's go back to our lead vocalist for a second and see how our lead vocalist with formant shift, like I said, it emphasizes the upper or lower harmonics of the actual sound. So with formant shift, we can basically take this blue skies smiling at me. This lovely young lady, grab all these notes, grab formant shift and bring them all way down and blue skies smiling at me she can sound like she's got a like a deeper and deeper voice blue skies smiling at me in the same way nothing but blue skies do I see. We could get some nice uh, different effects like that as well. This will even help us out with our bass guitar. If we go back to our bass, let's say this bass sounds good, but like we said, we wanted to get a little bit more low end out of it, a little bit more big thickness out of it. Well, formants might help a lot. Um, we can select all the notes and you know, go to the hot spots and change the formant up and down. The other thing we can do is right over here in the track parameter box, not the region parameter box, but the track parameter box, just like all the rest of the flex timing algorithms, flex pitch also gives us a couple extra parameters. And the one that is very useful is formant shift. We can do a global formant shift over the whole track. So listen to the bass as it is right now. And then we'll, let's say we want to make it a little bit beefier. Let's just bring the formant shift down a little bit. Maybe that's a little bit too much. Let's bring it back up to maybe about there. It changes the color and the quality of it. Although it's the same, you can tell it's the same instrument and it's playing the same pitches. So. This is something that you can get a lot of fun out of. Between slight tuning, between drastic repitching or great effects, uh, flex pitch, uh, you can get a lot of use out of. So make sure you explore all of the flex algorithms, but flex pitch is the newer one that you should really dig into sooner than later. I hope this has been helpful. Please leave us some good comments and let us know what you think. And uh, have fun digging further into logic and come by to Dubspot in New York City and see us sometime. This is Bill Lee signing out. Thanks a lot. Welcome to Dubspot. We believe in providing you hands-on experience right away. Whether you're completely new to music and want to turn the sounds in your head into a musical reality, or you're an experienced artist looking to refine your skills and add new tools to your arsenal, we're ready to meet you at your level. For students of all ages, all levels, and all styles of music, DubSpot is here to help you achieve your goals. With course offerings both online wherever you are and at our school in the heart of New York City, we are ready to guide you through the next phase of your musical transformation. Whether you want to produce music, DJ, or do both, you've come to the right place. Come explore DubSpot for yourself. Become a part of our community and make music.